I thought Graham's story was completely done on YouTube. <laughs> Apparently not. Oh, Nick and Carla, y'all are some crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> I like Nick and Carla. Um, I've always liked their reactions uh, because they're honest and they're truthful. They're, they're not biased because they can like a character on YouTube and support them. But then when they see their faults, they have no problem speaking on it. And those are the type of reactors I like and I appreciate. They're not yes women, okay? And just like me, I ain't a yes woman. I'm definitely uncensored and unfiltered. So turns out the story of Grams ain't done. Nick and Carla reached out to a secret lover that most of us did not know about. And you know, by the end of the day, Grams ain't gotta tell us everyone she's dating. I mean, I've dated a few people while I've been single for three years and I ain't putting all of them out there, you know what I'm saying? But the reason why this interview was so important it's because it ties in to the story of Lily and B and Avery. There were unanswered questions in that storyline and this girl cleared shit up. I just want to get straight to the point and, and know all the juicy details. Are y'all ready to watch? Cause I am, let's get it. When we were made aware of your page, we saw that you was having this vent session um, about Graham and <laughs> We were shocked. We was just like, who is... So Grams is 36 years old. Mature-wise, I would say 16. This girl is 27 years old. Is that, what it, is that what it was? 27 years old? Listen, they're both grown-ass adults, okay? So I see no problem with the age difference there. This, it, because we didn't know. So um, we just pretty much want you to just tell your story and just start from the beginning and kind of let us know what led you up to that vent session that we saw yesterday? Yeah, like how did y'all meet? Maybe start there. This I don't, I, this story is crazy. Okay, so the same way that me and Grams meet, she says it's similar to how her and Avery met. We met at the bar. Okay. I went to the restroom. Okay. She came to the restroom. Okay. I had on a onesie. I had on a white onesie. And she's like, you need help with that? And I was like, yeah. She came in the stall with me. Undid my onesie. We made out. We didn't do too much. We made out, exchanged information, and went back and said it's the bar. Listen, I would say Graham's got game, but listen, that's some typical lesbian shit, okay? How else are you gonna meet each other? You know, it's gonna be at the lesbian bar, okay? The women's bathroom, where all the lesbians are. We all interact when we go to the bathroom, okay? Sometimes you hit on somebody there. And if y'all little freaks, y'all gonna meet up at the stall. So I don't think Graham's got game. I think we've all been there once upon a time. And then like, what really led up to the venting is the fact she had already called my sister weeks prior to this. But when Tootie posted that video in that like the last seven to eight minutes. Hold on, cause I don't know the story. Haven't talked to this girl in months and yet she want to call my mama? What's she gonna do, whoop me? Girl, what the hell? My mom wasn't dating her, helping her financially, give her rides or nothing. So what she supposed to do? Be calling, be calling my mom thinking I'm about to calm down only gonna make me turn up because ain't no way you try to little girl me and tattle. Let me play in character, okay? Don't judge me. It was like, um, and I got the receipts. I talked to your ex ho blah, blah, blah. I think that kind of scared Grams and she called my mama and was venting to my mama. I was like, oh no, you called my mama. <laughs> what the fuck? Never got my mama Who does involved. that? Stop. I don't do that my mama involved sure. in anything. So she know, do she know your mama? So she know, okay, she know your mama. Well, she's been around my family and stuff, oh. but we never. Damn, okay, so they were dating, not even in a relationship. But she's she's been around her family. This is how lesbians work, okay? I'm not saying she's lesbian. She might be bisexual. I don't know. But in our community, we tend to move fast. Why? Because we're women. And we are emotional. We get emotionally attached very quickly. But one thing I do not do is involve family members. I don't involve my family into our issues. I don't involve their family into our issues. We gonna figure it out together behind closed doors, okay? I don't mind them asking for advice from French, from friends, but also be aware that once you tell them the negative, they're gonna have their opinions and they're gonna judge the relationship. So why do all that? You're over here calling her mama, trying to talk bad about her daughter. Like, is you crazy? Like, we would, if you see that picture she posted, when we, we was in Gatlinburg as a family for my nephew's first birthday. She does look we like Lily. Like no we lie. We together every single day except like two or three nights. That's probably why she was the secret lover. Because she knew damn well she looked like Lily, her ex. And she knew people were going to talk. You just didn't want people to put that on you. 
Well, too late. The cat's out the bag. Yeah, because this is uh, July, June of 2023. Going into August. So mm. Avery and they broke up, I think, was it the previous Year. Okay, so this like is that. after Avery. She was messing with Lily between. You know? So the topic of Lily was still existing behind closed doors. My God. On those lives, when you would hear a voice in the background, it was me. When okay. It was Avery or Lily walking in the house. It was, me. It was a whole another girl. <laughs> Wasn't what anyone expected. <laughs> the flip flops I heard sound like I said she had flip flops. You got a big ass. <laughs> it was so it was you. Mm -hmm. When she posted that video and said my friend took me on a date, it was me. When we were in Panama. And she was talking about her friend and stuff in school. It was me. And so she was paying, like, to take you out of Panama and, and all that. And <laughs> Fucking cool. Yo. Okay. okay. Fucking okay. Nick. Well, That's a good question, though, because, you know, Grams, she uses these women, okay? Um, And I'm just going to say this now. I actually told her this before we started the interview because I know a lot of our audience is going to be saying this in the comment section. Yes, she... She look like a little young Lily to me. She I does, girl. Said, I could barely even hold it in my throat. It's box. crazy. Yeah, um, and I mean... She probably brought back memories for weird, Grams you know? when Grams saw her. I haven't seen young Lily, so I don't know, but... Brings back the old good memories of the beginning of the relationship when she looks at her. <laughs> don't lie. Come on now. Whatever you all had, when did that end? The day after Thanksgiving. It ended because one night she had to work third shift. And I was like, well, just give me your key. And I'll just be at your house waiting on you. And she gave me her key. But, you know, it's Thanksgiving. Hello. I went out. I was turned up. I okay. was real lit. So she called my phone. She got off at, like, 430 in the morning. I was knocked out. I didn't hear her calling my phone. I didn't hear her kicking on the door, ringing the doorbell or nothing. Oh, hell no. So I woke up and I called her. And I was like, where you at? She's like, what you mean? Like, she's going off. And I don't Sam. care. So it kind of, like, took me back a little bit. And I just left her key on the couch, and I left her house, and we did not speak since. Uh, I, okay, okay, that's how it ended. See, I don't blame Grams for that shit. I let you stay at my house, gave you the key, so you can have some privacy while I'm at work. You know, get some good rest, sleep in a nice warm bed. I get off of work, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I'm knocking on my own damn door. You ain't answering the damn door. You locked me the fuck out. I'm calling, I'm knocking, ain't nothing happening. So while you're counting sheep, I'm over here having to sleep in my car or calling up some people to let me sleep on their couch. Yeah, that's a no-no for me too. Especially if you've only been dating for a few months. I'm like, oh girl, yeah, mm -hmm. we ain't doing this. Don't get me wrong, it was an accident, but nah, I'm good. <laughs> right now, just watching Graham's own line, it's almost like she's setting things up like, oh, well, I didn't came back, so everybody is gonna wanna talk about me. So, um... I guess for you. I mean, shit, it's true. We are, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, because you said a few things that I kind of want you to elaborate on. Like the first thing you said, uh, let's say, for example, with her logging into Avery's YouTube account. Uh, mm -hmm. Graham says she didn't even know she was still logged into it. Um, she was not logged into it. She didn't change anything. She wasn't muting comments, but she kind of said that Graham's did know that she was in it or she was logging into it. How, if Graham's didn't know, how would I know? Well, I would I'd be able to let it be known that Grams was logged in. And like I said, we stopped talking in November. When she called my mama, I was like, I'm going to let everybody know what's going on. So I let Avery know. So Avery would have never Why do known people do tell. that, though? Why do people do that? I don't care how long you've been with somebody. The only one that deserves your passwords to your social media networks, bank accounts, anything else that's private is the person that you're married to. So this is the person that you're committing for the rest of your life, right? But people you're dating... You, don't, you obviously don't know how long those will last. Why are you giving them such private information? You're giving them too much control over your life. And if you are going to break up, make sure you change your passwords to everything. How did I find out? Oh, that's how Avery knew. So she told Avery. Um, mm -hmm. So what was she doing when she logged into the account? Was she what? Grams is weird, her, yo. Like, her, how much she had on her like, I, I even, even I talked to Avery. Oh, my God. Like, was on there, like... That's how much I knew she how she knew she was logged in there. Like I knew how much money Avery was gonna get. She had said that she needed words like Damn. daily and certain words in her like that would show up in her comments and stuff like that. And I ain't gonna lie, because I like I say, I was a part of this. So I was like, well just delete the video. Damn. She's like, No, nah, I don't wanna delete it because she gonna know. She's like, I wanna still have access. Wow. I <laughs> did not know my the person that I was dating last was logging was logged in on this Damn, phone Damn, yo. That's why she didn't change nothing or delete That's that. some crazy I shit. That's some weird stalker ass shit. 
you are weird yo listen i don't know grams like that obviously i don't really watch her content like that i've only seen one video and she annoyed the fuck out of me knowing this and how she gets down behind the scenes and with intimate relationships like what is wrong with you girl that is some controlling shit you're still trying to know people's business after y'all end things like what's wrong with you and not only that but you're also showing that private information to the new person you're dating Oof! if i was avery girl if i was avery I'd be pissed. And seven hundred dollars or something like that. What was going on with that? Mind you, like Hold on. Don't come over here trying to break my family apart. I'll come ready to destroy your world. Oh god damn girl. Okay. Was it my sis who gave you seven hundred dollars for your rent or me? Was it my mom who was letting you borrow her car or me? Was it my family helping you get rental assistance or was it me? First off, girl, you're doing too much. <laughs> too much for this girl. Oh my god. And second thing is, Grams, you're such a child, yo. You can't do shit by yourself. Like, you gotta leech on to people like that. That's so disgusting. That's such an ugly trait to me. You are, what, 35, 36 years old and you can't handle your own business? I understand every once in a while needing the help because I've been there. But god damn, girl, when are you gonna grow the fuck up? So we went to Atlanta Labor Day weekend, like, at the end of August. So, and that's the same, like, she, same time she moved in her apartment. Like, on my birthday trip, that's why it just bothers me so much. I paid for the rental car. I paid for the hotel. I was buying the food and the drinks. I bought all my clothes. For your birthday? And I didn't get a birthday car or a balloon. Oh, I mean, girl. well, I was going to say, if you saw what she got Avery, then you wouldn't be surprised. But Yeah, she did the same thing to uh, Avery. See, I don't know about this. It's crazy. We had spoke about it a few months after my birthday. She's like, that's because she did say, so I really don't want to go. I thought, well, come on, it'll be fine. Well, you know, the Dollar Tree has dollar balloons and cards. Right. It's the thought, yo. It's the <laughs> <That's> thought. <true. laughs> It's the thought. That I'm fine with the dollar true. balloon. So, you know, that did rub me the wrong way. Just write me a letter, and I'm cool with that. that. She did move into her apartment. That is a lot to take in. But I think it's like the simple consideration of doing at least one thing. One yeah, of the other. I think, I think also it's kind of like when you see Gramps do things like, you know, talk shit about, like how she was talking shit about B and, you know, gloating and swinging her little legs from the little island. <laughs> and then you find out, like, you need seven hundred dollars on your rent it's like i guess when she tried to position herself a certain way like or when she say oh i wasn't logging into avery's account and you found out she was and showing her like we, we literally sat up there and like we looked at avery's account more than one time we was at having brunch one day we would sit on my couch one but day. girl my avery was i, I need to question you too what's your name I, I didn't i missed her name but i need to question you too grams is showing you how she is with her exits why do you want to involve yourself with someone like that She's going to do the same to you if she hasn't already or she will in the future. Oh, especially now, especially now that you came out with all the receipts. I think, and in my opinion only, please don't come after me, y'all, but I think she's just as bad as Grams is, okay? I think she's just as revengeful as she is. You are dating this person who is showing you their ex's personal information and you're and you're going along for the ride. You're open to see these things. If I was in your shoes, I would have told her. I'm like, I don't want to see that shit. I'm like, and why are you even in their business like that? Like, do you still care for this girl? You know what I'm saying? Like, something's, up, something's wrong here. I don't know about these two. And I'm, the two I'm speaking of is this Lily lookalike and Gramps. I don't know. I don't know. She, you said she talk about everybody. She's not a friend. What, what did you mean by that? That's obvious, though. So much I, <laughs> I could have been told you that. If she's like this to her intimate partners, of course she's like that to her friends. She was sleeping with them. She was sleeping on her floor. I know personal business about her. I probably shouldn't even know, which is not my place to share it. Right. But I was like, Kier, if you're watching this, I can tell you. <laughs> OG, y'all, I don't want to go too deep, but. Wait, <laughs> I think that's uh, another reactor, another YouTube reactor, I think. I think I came across her, uh, her video once. OG, okay. Oh, it is, it is, it is. It just hit me right now. Because Grams be posting her, vi her videos on her community. That's how I come across it. I've never seen the video, though, so I don't know how she reacts. Only talks to OG, I feel like, for, <laughs> to give her the information that she wants her to share. Because I know stuff about OG that I shouldn't know. I know stuff like conversations with her family that she's had that I shouldn't know. Like, you talk about these people and then go sit in their faces like you're just such um, a good friend. Hold on. Okay, so... That's how I am in my relationships, and that's how my partners are too. Like, that's your partner. This is your best friend. This is the person that you confide in. So whenever you are going through something with a friendship or a family member, you know, you feel comfortable enough and safe enough to open up about it with your partner. Just to hear, just to vent, 
uh, just to explain your concerns and get some advice from your partner. But that's about it. It should stay there. So I don't know. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Unless she's saying some bad shit about them personally, like as a person, like talking some shit about them. That's different. Oh, so loyal. You're I, so committed in. I want to know. You like them all this stuff, but you're really talking about them. Girl, if you're going so you to talk about it, <laughs> talk about it. You on YouTube now. She pretty much uses uh, OG like a fucking idiot, like a toy or like a... Duh. Like I would a, say like an idiot or a toy, but to say stuff that she wouldn't want to say. Because OG... Yeah. Duh. Know, OG I could have told you that. Some- of course. Because Grams tries to be careful with who she responds to. Especially about Nick and Carla. Grams don't like Nick and Carla, okay? Because Nick and Carla be, be spitting their shit, okay? I know Grams be in her feelings all the time. She looks sensitive. But she don't want to give she don't want to give them that much attention. Because if she could, she would talk about Nick and Carla every day. But she would use other people on the platform to do that. You know, like, they're, like her little puppet. Oh, child. Oh, like gee, be careful. But it's just the way that Grams talks about her behind the scenes. Mm. Yeah. That's what I said. It feels talks about like, her. Um, I want to know. Grams kind of use people to do the things that she that she don't want to do. It's kind of like she mm. playing puppet. Like, even like when she... Thank you. Yeah, like a puppet master. Thank like, you. Even when she went live um, with the girl um, yesterday, it just felt like Grants was trying to set it up for us to question Avery's character. But then when I was watching it, I was like, okay, so the girl was no longer with the girl at the end of the day. So Avery really didn't owe her any loyalty. She has okay, stopped I haven't seen that video. Girl, but it was kind of like they wanted to paint the picture like, oh, Avery goes after her friends, you know, made or whatever. Well, I mean... Mm-hmm. To be honest, even See, I don't know. Like, Grams has told me stuff about Avery. She does speak highly of Avery, but she also talks about her family. It's like, she's just talking about everybody. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm <laughs> that little girl ain't got nothing better to do. To talk about me and tell my sister that I was talking about her trying to destroy homes. And like I told her, I, like, I said, you know I what? Told, I'm not said, gonna I lie. I have never been, I was never interested in reacting to Grams because she's a child, in my opinion. She doesn't feed my brain in any type of level. But I don't know. After watching this interview, I might have to analyze Grams. I wanna. I might have to watch one of her videos. It's like when you are having an intimate relationship with people, we do. We talk to them about things. right. Like. Even if okay. it's something where family... Carla understands. Out, she gets I it. I talk to Nick, you know, about stuff that happened exactly. with my family. So we know that it happens. It's just when people use that to try to make you vulnerable or try to expose you or try to right. break a lineage between you and your family. Yeah, and that's what's bothering me. Probably not going to address anything that I'm saying because... Look how long it took for her to address Adri. I mean, uh, Adri. Oh, but she did. Yeah. Oh, I but she addressed like, it. Um, I said I was okay with being off the scene and not seen. But to be posting stuff like this isn't what's going on, it was weird to me. Like, just if you're dealing with somebody, let it be known or like stop just trying to act like I'm single, I'm not dating, or I'm focused on me. And the whole time I'm sitting right here, like, I'm gonna be honest, that bothered me. She kind of already knew if she would have put it out too soon, the internet would have lit her ass up because that's what she said because Avery did that. I kind of understand why Avery tried to keep it low key. It's like, why do you keep talking about your exes or? Why are you talking about sexual encounters and stuff with other people? Like, right, she- girl, right. Ding, 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 ding. Red flag, red flag, red flag. That should have told you right there that this girl moves weird. That's someone you shouldn't involve yourself with. But you continued those. Because it sounds like you, you got some common sense. So the thing <laughs> is, don't let I still got some loose screws, but I'm not going to sit here and act right. like I got it all together. Right, <laughs> good. Cause we all do. We all got some flaws. Like, why are you doing this, but you're doing something different? Like, don't let nobody play in your face like that. You and not right. even that, y'all. Like, when I, when Lily did her birthday trip, like, that's, like, the nights we didn't stay together, that's when it was something going, like, if Lily was on her birthday trip, she was in a mood. This is what really did it, too. When B moved into her apartment, she she had Uh-oh. gone through this little phase. She's like, um, I just don't want to be bothered, blah, blah, blah. And I asked her, I said, is it because they're happy? Like, are you are you some feeling some type of way? I said, just from the outside looking in, that's how it feels to me. She's like, no, I wouldn't let that bother me. She's like, I'm really just, I just get in moods like this. But I feel like every okay. mood was when they were doing something positive. Also mentioned that she was stalking. Did you say she was stalking B? She was stalking B, too. To me, oh, I, wanna, I don't know. This how, bitch is a stalker. <laughs> Because official she, when um i found out about the other girl that she she's was, talking and hold on hold on she's talking everybody stalking her exes stalking her exes 
ex or exes the people they're dating too god damn downplaying this girl she's is weird she's a, girl. Yo. she's a cop caller she's a stalker and mm -hmm. when she called me a stalker i said how's she gonna call me a stalker when she was sitting outside of britney's house and i was with her damn and like i told like I can tell you where their cars was parked at. What? We sat there for a minute. She was plotting on how she was going to get the key, I mean, get the, get a key made and go take the car and put all her stuff in a bag and leave it out there. Like, and then also, hold up, because B, um, didn't, wasn't the Sam Sam B was saying she was missing some packages or something? Yeah. It was she had nothing to do with that, did she? Oh, no, no. Oh. We never got out the car. We didn't get out the car. <laughs> so, but what that part, if she did that, I don't know. Yo, it's so crazy. So, what was the purpose of y'all sitting outside of this place? <laughs> Why are you there with her? Uh, I guess the just fuck? to make sure that's where she stayed at, because B, I that don't want to be posted a video. Hold up. <laughs> B posted a video, and she was cleaning out her bathroom, and I'm like, I don't know uh, where this is. And Grandma's like, that looks like the apartment that Avery took me to go see. And it's down the street from where I stay. So we just rode down the street and was like, oh, this is where it's at. That is some weird shit, both y'all. I'm sorry, so but you're just as weird as she is. Girl, What? you're 27? Girl. <laughs> well, you did say you have a, a few screws loose, you know. So if you know that about yourself, something's wrong there. Oh, hell no. Y'all are over here stalking people. Why did y'all go out there? Like, <laughs> that's where she I, just, I guess just to confirm that's where it was, if she ever wanted to come get the car. Oh, my God. You mean, like, Some weird get shit. the car Because, really? you know, both of their names, is, or she co-signed on it or something like that. Girl, so. she's still stuck on this car? <laughs> Girl, this shit. This shit. This Yo, and, okay, so in, in my 38 years of life of dating women... I've never had to deal with an ex of theirs stalking me, trying to find out where I work, trying to find out where I live, trying to know what kind of car I drive. Until <laughs> this last girl that I dated, her ex was psycho, yo. Her ex says, I know her TikTok, I know her YouTube. That's obvious, my shit's out there, I don't care. Then she tells this girl that she knows where I work. That's a motherfucking lie. There's no way that you can find where I work because I don't put none of that information out there. I don't put any clues in my videos out there. I could be anywhere in the States. But you're over here just trying to stress out this girl. You ain't got me stressed. You're just annoying the fuck out of me. But you ain't got me stressed. The bitch never found me. But that's psycho. Who does that? I, I, I don't care to do stuff like that. To me, I'm too busy making money. I'm too like, busy traveling, like said, experiencing life. The scenes, and you're sitting here acting like, oh, I don't do this. I don't do that. Why should they believe what you're saying? Like, to me, I, believe I feel her. like you're telling the truth. I believe her. You know, just yeah, basically. Yeah, because why would I put myself in these situations too? But, like, I, yeah, right. Yeah. I, like I believe I you, girl, because you're making yourself look bad, too. Because you were right beside this girl doing all these crazy things. <laughs> so... Girl. I, I played a part in some of this stuff, mm -hmm. but I wasn't gonna say nothing until you felt the need to involve my mom. So but I, see, that, that but was. see, I don't, I don't like that either though because we're doing the secret shit, <laughs> this crazy, you know, Inspector Gadget detective work type shit. It's supposed to be just between us, but when things go sour and things go bad, you're quick to let all that shit out. Like you're not trustworthy. I mean, I guess Graham started by talking her shit to her mama. I'm just gonna tell it all. I don't have anything to hide, like I said. I, I don't know. I've been crazy. I've done some stalker stuff, but I didn't ever do nothing stalker to her. See? I didn't never do anything crazy See? to her. So I'm right. This bitch is crazy too. <laughs> She's crazy too. I've done some crazy stuff. I can get like that for real. I believe like, you. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I believe you, girl. When they say that, believe that. So when that video came out, Grams showed some text messages from this girl's ex talking shit about the girl okay what's her name i missed her fucking name i'm sorry but we're gonna go ahead and watch uh nick and carla again and see what the ex has to say about grams so this, I mean, i'm just gonna make this quick and make it short all right i said this hold on so let's read these messages uh the ex says um of the Lily look-alike, she, she told grams she still hit me up we literally just broke up she the police uh, so tell her stop contacting me and my people. She been around the whole city shit so embarrassing. That's why I couldn't do it. Just be careful. Real shit. I just saw her mama today. She's driving her car. Hey, I can go on. Uh, and before I got in a relationship with her, somebody gave me the rundown, but I didn't listen. She don't work. She she only go to school. Her mother will be in your relationship business 24-7. She done had sex with every dude. She came across with every 
Mm. Lived with her in her house. She get she got drunk, friendly as fuck, and will fuck on anything when she's drunk. Their cute face is a fucking trick. I'm telling you, you will thank me later. And her pussy cat stinks. Oof. But you, but you will see all of this for yourself. Hey, why do exes do that? Mind your business. Let the girl move on. Why are you telling their their new boo some bullshit? I don't know if it's real or not. I don't know. I don't know. But who cares? Who cares? Don't give me no warnings. Like, I'll figure it out on my own. Of course, everything's going to be cute in the beginning. The true colors will show eventually. I don't got to hear it from you. You're a whole different individual. Your bad experience may not be mine because I'm a whole different person that she's dealing with. But girl, okay. So this is a text messages that Grams posted on her community page. About Ari because I was pissed off. I was pissed off because she went to a dumb ass, ugly ass, so old this is the ex. ass hood. That's why I said this shit. Okay, so... In the background, and you can't see because it's dark, is the Lily lookalike. And I guess she got her ex, who wrote this stuff, to call in and talk to Nick about why she said what she said in these messages. Trying to inbox me like we was cool or cool ass shit. So that's the reason why I said this shit. Like, none of this shit was really true. I was just saying this shit because I was mad. But when I see Graham, I'm going to beat the fuck out of her. She keep bragging me in the mix, but I don't, I don't deal with this YouTube shit. Oh, I don't shit. deal with this social media ass oh, shit. Oh, shit. Like, I don't have time for that shit. Like, mm. That's what I'm trying to tell Ari, right, because clearly y'all hear the music, I'm at the club. But I had to do all this extra shit just to clear this up just for her. I'm about to get something after this. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I just said this shit because I was mad. I don't know what the fuck Graham saw. Like, people screaming, trying to meet a message and shit. I don't know. I don't believe this girl neither, okay? She could be telling the, she could be telling the truth. She could be lying, too. Just to, just to save face. Just to be on this girl's good side, okay? Or it's a fact. She was in her feelings. She was bitter. And she wanted to make sure that that didn't work out because she still wants her. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? I just don't just, I just don't trust any of these motherfuckers. But I will say, Graham's fucked up because don't talk shit about people who are outside of social media because they don't have a way to defend themselves because they're not on here. You know what I'm saying? So the only way they can defend themselves is outside of social media. So I don't blame this girl for wanting to kick her ass. Okay, Graham's fucked up with that. Like, I'm a social media person, okay? I am uncensored on YouTube, okay? Outside in the real world, you guys, I'm not that critical and I'm not that judgmental, okay? This is all for entertainment purposes. But I ain't dumb like Grimes. Like, girl, they know where you stay at. They can easily pop up and beat the fuck out of you. Oh, this little girl don't learn. Wait, I only said this shit because I was mad. That was it. Okay. Okay. Like, so none of that shit was true, fool. Like, none of that shit was true. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to fuck right now. That's, I know it ain't true. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll definitely make sure uh, I put this on the uh, the video as well, um, so people uh, know what's going on behind those messages that Grams is posting. Man, Grams just posting bullshit because she won't clap. She that type of bitch, like she just won't clap, fool. When I see that bitch, I hope she posted. I beat her ass, so I hope she won't make a YouTube after that. Damn. So I don't know. I'm just oh, trying to figure shit. out where the bitch at. Oh my god. Oh. Like she can make she make a YouTube about everybody else, but she won't make no YouTube about me. I'm ready for her to make a YouTube about Ooh. me. I'm on that for real. Like I'm Zach for real, and she know that. So the shit that I said about Ari, I was just pissed. I was trying to get. I'm trying to talk right now. I was just trying to get this shit over with. So this shit can just stop. Just Jordan, just get on Instagram. Jordan, just get on Instagram. So I got on Instagram to tell y'all the shit was. I was just saying, it's like, you know how it is when you break up with somebody, you want to say whatever when you mad. Bro. Not me. Like, just how that shit Not me. Like, I'm mad. The bitch, the bitch kept my dick, bro. Of course, I'm a good man. <laughs> you stupid, I ain't, I ain't no question. She's over here talking about her strap. <laughs> right, I'm just saying. You told me to get on here and goddamn and talk. That's what I'm doing. But they say all that. <laughs> what hell? It's true shit. I want my dick back. It's in the trash can. You know what? I, I feel like this girl would be good for YouTube. Maybe she should. Maybe she should have a channel. If she's unfiltered like that. Hey, that is expensive. Oh shit, she knows me about me being a transgender. Hey, I want my shit. They are expensive, but at the same time, y'all should be changing that shit with every partner you get. Plus, every woman wants a different size. We have the ability to change it. Men don't. I kept it, but I kept yours too. They get thrown away. You don't get it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you better be playing with mine, baby. Shut up. <laughs> All right. All right well, well, can I go back in here now? So I, I yeah, can't I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Bye. I'm going to after this, girl. Bye.
right. Okay, I'm gonna just end it right there. This was a crazy story, and the story will continue because it's real life. <laughs> So it's not like a TV show where you have a finale. So I'm waiting. I want I want Gramps to go ahead and post a video because, girl, I will react to it if you want me to. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Please share my motherfucking videos, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.